again. We're uh, back here at AES 2011. It's Tom Graham, and with me is the principal software product designer for Pro Tools. And uh, his name's David Gould, good friend of mine. So, David, congratulations, and really exciting all the uh, Pro Tools 10 things. Maybe tell us a little bit about uh, the process and, and some of the, the big highlights. Absolutely, yeah, thanks. Um, so, Pro Tools 10, Big, big feature-rich release with a lot of um, very heavily customer-requested features, things that we've been talking about for a very long time. So clip-based gain, real-time fades, audio suite handles. We've also you know, taken audio suite to a whole new level, um, allowing you to maintain fades, have multiple windows open. So that whole rendered workflow is really improved. And then between clip gain and real-time fades, which are both this kind of real-time workflow, it's really uh, enhanced editorial. So anyone editing in Pro Tools is going to see these huge improvements in speed and efficiency. And then we've got something called um, a disk cache and a disk scheduler. So um, disk performance has been massively improved in Pro Tools 10 as well. So whether you're running just a, a Pro Tools system on a, on a laptop or whether you're on a, an HD system, um, you're going to see huge disk improvements um, in terms of reading and writing to disk. Now on our HD systems, we're also offering something extra in terms of disk performance called a, a disk cache or a RAM disk cache where you can actually stream audio directly from RAM inside the CPU. So we use a 64-bit 64 64-bit address space outside of the standard Pro Tools memory address space and allow you to, when you open a session, really um, cop uh, bring all the audio into RAM and play back directly from that. So the performance you're getting is really an amazing thing. And this means that you can play back from shared storage. So all of those previous limitations have just gone away now. So you're getting performance enhancements, you're getting editorial enhancements, and we've also got um, some great mixing enhancements, increased track count, increased delay compensation up to 6,000 samples, and of course the new HDX system for our accelerator system is, is an amazing new thing. Um, and we've also got a great new plugin, um, Channel Strip, based on the System 5 algorithm, um, amazing dynamics and EQ section, it's just... It's an all-around really cool release. So whether you're in editorial, whether you're mixing, whether you're in a facility, there's there's things in there for every for everyone, and it's it's really a, a big leap forward. Fantastic! I don't even know where to start with the questions. That was so that was so amazing. So uh, what one question I do have? So to clarify for Pro Tools 10 users using this uh, improved disk handler, they will see disk performance whether it's from uh, a, a network drive or. Or, or anything, is that correct? Right, yeah, that's correct. So um, across the board, we've, there's a completely rewritten disk scheduler, which is a system by which Pro Tools actually interacts with hard drives. Um, so that was completely rewritten from the ground up, so everyone will see improvements. And then it's in our HD software, or our complete production toolkit software, where you actually get the ability to do the streaming um, directly from RAM and assign you know, six, eight gig of RAM to be your audio playback device. But everyone is gonna see big improvements in terms of their actual streaming of audio. Correct. And when the HD user is using this extended disk cache, the performance means almost instant playback anywhere on the timeline, correct? Absolutely. You can guarantee performance. You can jump around. Um, the demos are amazing. The customers who have been using it are just blown away by it because you can jump to anywhere in the timeline, hit spacebar, and you're just instantly playing back these two, 300-track sessions that are now possible with HDX. So one of the things that we found in talking with our customers and the beta teams was uh, that a lot of these improvements like clip gain and uh, the real-time fades, et cetera, were focused and targeted towards post users. But, but ironically, our music users responded almost even more, more excitement, right? Right, that's absolutely true. I mean, um, a lot of the features, as you say, were designed for uh, post-production professionals, but actually they're such just great um, workflow enhancements that really anyone working in audio, something like clip gain is so useful. You're bringing in samples, you can adjust the level, you can level match your drums, you can do all of this amazing stuff. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're working in music or post or broadcast or games or whatever. It's just really great editorial enhancements. Cool. Two more questions for you. One, uh, when is it available? Uh, it's shipping now. Uh, started shipping last night. Pro Tools, Pro Tools HD, upgrades are all available from the web store right now. Excellent. And second question is, maybe you could just tell us about the operating systems that Pro Tools 10 is approved for. Absolutely. So on the Windows side, it's uh, Windows 7. Uh, it's, it's supported, 64-bit version, 32-bit version of, of Windows 7 are both supported. And on the Mac side, Pro Tools 10 itself, it's both supporting Snow Leopard and Lion. So 10.6.8 and um, 10.7 are both supported. Um, HDX is um, going to be supported on Lion only, and that'll hopefully be shipping before the end of the year. Fantastic. All right, thank you very much, David.